This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. How are you? Good to see you. Um, and uh, you see, my eyes are a lot better. I put a little makeup down here earlier today, but it's gone now. But, you know, everybody says I'm looking younger. I don't know why. Yeah, I guess because my eyes are like this. Anyway, we decided not to do a show Tuesday, and we might not do a show on Tuesday for a couple of weeks. And I'm, I'm still very tired and very weak, and I don't know what it's from, but I did, you know, I did have surgery, so... Maybe that has something to do with it. I'm also dealing with lawyers lately and crap like that, and it just goes, it never stops, okay? But uh, uh, we got, uh, you know, uh, instead of on Tuesday, uh, we figured we would uh, bring him here on a uh, Wednesday, if uh, we have a picture of him there. There we go. Let me see here. There's, uh, there's Phil Meyer. Oops. See, there was my arrow. I forgot my arrow. Uh, let me see here. In fact, we could probably, let me put Phil's name on here. Watch it magically appear. Boom. There we go. Now, how are you, Phil? All right. Well, hmm? uh, I guess, uh, how you feeling? I'm, I'm just, I, for some reason, I've just been so out of it. See, I quit that drug. Yeah. The Brigabalin. I, dr- I tried to stop it. So I've been taking, at night, I've been taking uh, um, uh, a Xanax, and Xanax just wipes me out all day long. Yeah. But at least, at least, let me get rid of this here. Okay, at least uh, it's not, uh, it's not, you know, um, making me kind of like bump into walls and things like that, but I'm tired all the time and a little lightheaded. So tonight I'm going to try and not take the Xanax and see if I can go to sleep. But you know, getting off the pregabalin can cause dizziness. I mean, uh, I looked it up and it was like a whole list of things. Dizziness, nausea, this, that, the other thing. Why do they give me that drug? Well, you know, they want to, they want to keep people on drugs. That's how they make their money. They have a pact with the drug companies, these no. doctors. No, 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 no. Conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. Have you ever sat in the office, though, when some of the representatives from the companies come in? Oh, I, I go to Kaiser. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, they, those, those hot chicks do not visit the doctors at Kaiser. They must be visiting their buyers. Uh, and, you know, one thing I've learned about Kaiser is they negotiate for the cheapest thing as long as it'll do the job uh Mm -hmm. for instance glasses my last pair of glasses i got at kaiser and i found that the quality of the lenses weren't that high i found a place in idaho uh that i bought three pair now from the guy and he uses the best of everything and the difference in the clarity is night and day so uh, I'll, I'll never buy another pair of glasses at Kaiser. I have them do the exam, mm-hmm. but you know they they just negotiate for g- general stuff. You know, it's now the other day on the Monday show I was wearing the um, I was wearing makeup down here because it was yeah. still a little black and blue, but you can't see it that much anymore. Yeah, you, um, you um, who who is that uh, 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 hero or 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 villain from one of those TV shows that has the uh, has the V's under his eye? Uh, I have no idea, but everybody says I look younger. Uh, yeah, your eyes are open. Yeah, I mean, I, I look much more. Yeah, and and you don't you don't have to exaggerate it. Yeah. they're just they're they're open normal. Yep, there they are, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't used to be able to do that, but uh, anyway, it looks uh, smelling, 
It, huh? it looks like the swelling's going down. For the most part, I'd like this to go down here. If this goes down here, I might not even think about getting the bags done because they don't look that bad. You know. No. So, whatever. No. You know. Anyway. So I'm, but I'm just tired all the time, and I don't know what it is, and I haven't figured it out, and I'd like to get an answer. Well, uh, but uh, I, I, um, it could I, be. I might. Uh, it turns out I have. A slight lower leveling of my uh, what, what's the thing in your blood? Your um, starts with a P. Oh, uh, um, uh, your it's huh? Platelets. Platelets. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little low on my platelets, just slightly low. Yeah. No, I but that I don't think causes that. That would, if it were bad, it would cause bleeding. Well, I've been taking B12 supplement. Uh, every morning a little spoonful and uh, because uh, last exam I had they said the B12 was lower than it should be and uh, now and yeah I, I'm I'm not and what taking I do with those what, what, what were you saying about the B12 let me put my earphones back in levels were lower than they what they should have been mm -hmm. now I'm taking a high quality liquid B12 and uh, it's up to like uh, 1170 something from 270 something. Well, look at these folks. These are, this is Kirkland B12. Right. Is, yeah. Are they any good? I don't know. It says it's uh, 5,000 MCGs. Oh, MCGs. I used to listen to and that he, band. Here's, here's, here's what it is. This one, it's just tiny little pill. Yeah. And huh. I, uh, yeah, and I take that. Uh, you know. hmm? Is it a chewable? No, you put it on your tongue. Oh. And then it dissolves. Uh, well, okay, so it's not the B12. Uh, are you getting sleep? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why? B12 is supposed to prevent sleep? No. Uh, uh, there's another one you can take called magnesium. I take you magnesium every day. Yeah, okay. Well, that helps with sleep. Well, but oh, really? If, mm. Yeah. But if you're tired, uh, uh, I take a product called Calm, C-A-L-M, and uh, it's, uh, it's magnesium. And uh, I take magnesium, put, too. Yeah, you put it in some water and uh, you just drink it before you go to sleep, and it helps you sleep. Really? Yeah. Maybe I should be taking those at night instead of in the morning. Well, that's that's a possibility. Yeah, that's a possibility. Maybe that's what's making you tired. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, so when you said you're tired, that's why I asked, are you getting enough sleep? Yeah, I'm getting enough sleep. I slept, uh, gee, I, I think I slept uh, about uh, 10 hours, uh, 9 hours yesterday. Wow. And then I this afternoon, I fell asleep because of the because of the uh, um, uh, what's the pill I said I was taking the Xanax Xanax yeah it, about about five o'clock all of a sudden I fall asleep yeah <laughs> you know I don't want to be driving a car folks I'm telling you that right now I, I remember look, when you look used at my eyes in astonishment <laughs> look. yeah boom. Uh, I remember when you get up early you know for the 6 a.m. show mm -hmm. and uh, you used to take a nap around two o'clock. Yeah, but you know how I got up that early in the morning? They I, call us. I took cocaine about six. <laughs> I, I thought it was the station called us to, to wake us up. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they call me, they call you, yeah. you know, and, yeah, and you were my wife. Yeah. And then I would have to drive across the bay. I was in Sausalito. So was I. You know. But I was the down the street. The, the from station you. was very close. It was only like twenty minutes across the bridge. Fisherman's Wharf. In that time of the morning. Yeah. You know, you no, were it's uh, Fisherman's Wharf, yeah. and uh, it was like across from Pier Thirty Nine. Yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, I used to like to go to the Eagle Cafe for breakfast. That was after. a good place for breakfast, man. That was the best breakfast in town. Yeah. 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 Uh, Why did you end up going to uh, the bagel place on off Chestnut? Well, because I changed radio stations. Oh. And also, I got to know those people, mm -hmm. and they gave me a deal where they would give me free breakfast for all my people, all my guests and everything. We just plug it on the show 
So I got the right to plug it on the show, and I would take everybody down, and we'd have like five or six people, the comedians who were on the show, all out for breakfast. I remember they used to deliver platters of bagels and stuff. Uh, that was at, uh, yeah, yeah, that was at the stuffed bagel, too. They would do that. But usually, usually we went down there. Okay. And you could walk in there, you know, any morning around uh, 1030, quarter of 11, and see some of the biggest stars in comedy having breakfast, you know. You walk in, I'd be there with Jay Leno or somebody like that, and we'd all be having lunch, breakfast together. So. And Jay Pretty, loved nothing more than holding court, so it was perfect for him. You know. Well, you know, I, I don't, I don't think I went to too many of those, a uh, couple times, but uh, usually it was um, the the basic guys that we had around San well, Francisco. Well, that started that started when I went to the Quake. Oh, okay. Okay, and then later on, Live 105. Yeah, so. But, uh, so, anyway, uh, what's going on in the news? We got uh, Star Trek has actually Star gone... Star Trek? Yeah. What yeah, kind of are... old man are you, Star Trek? Oh, Shatner. It's Shatner. Star Trek. Trek, Trek. Well, I thought it was Star Trek. No, Star Trek. You've been going along all these years thinking it was Star Trek? Well, I knew Leonard N Nimoy was Jewish. I was happy with that. Yeah. But but as far as uh, Shatner, I, I was I was touched by how... Uh, oh, let me turn this Excuse off. Me. I've been having headaches the last day or so. I, I was really touched how uh, it was such a life experience for him. And uh, you know how he greeted Bezos when he when he came down. Yeah. Which, probably thinking to himself, I'm really glad we didn't crash. But uh, you know what a what an experience. Uh, Ninety years old. No, it's, uh, that would not be. If I were offered that experience, I would turn it down. Well, why why is that? I and I want to go to space, but I would yeah. turn that down. I wouldn't turn down uh, uh, what's his name Musk. Musk yeah. sent his people up in orbit, okay, yeah. for three days. Musk didn't ask, and I so think Musk. That, do you know how long that trip was for for William Shatner? Eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. Wow, uh, boy, is that a thrill! Shatner's seat, and being Jewish, his seat was complimentary, so yeah. he didn't have to pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean, I just felt it was Bezos doing a little stunt for what is his non-rocket company. I mean, he's just sending those things up. None of his rockets have ever gone into orbit. Well, what Shatner said was, you went from the blue to nothing, to black. What do you think happens up there? Yeah, well, Come on, I mean, you, you were Captain Kirk and you didn't even read about science? Well, you know, didn't the Captain Kirk um, Enterprise, wasn't that paper mache? Well, the, yes, but all I'm saying is, is that this was like, you know, this was just nothing but a publicity flight. That's all it's been. It's all these things have been for, for Bezos. He has nothing else to offer. He does not have the ability to even get to the space station to make deliveries. Yeah, but Musk, taking, is, Musk has been doing that now for a couple of years, over and over and over and over. Uh, what Bezos is doing is he's put together a ride. It's it's kind of like going to the carnival, uh, except... Yeah, but I don't want the ride. I want the experience. And I want to go up there, and I want to float around at least in one orbit. You know, when we sent Alan Shepard up, he went into what was called suborbital flight, which was kind of what this was, although this was even less than that, okay? Uh, but, now, huh? Did he, how many times did he go around the... Uh, I don't around? think, I, if I'm not mistaken, Shepard went up and Shepard came down, okay? John I, Glenn, the next flight, yeah. was orbital. Yeah. Okay, and now, I don't know how many times he went around and then he came down. That, heard, that was the one everybody remembered. When I just mentioned Alan Shepard, yeah, you've heard the name. In fact, the name of this spaceship that, uh, that uh, um, uh, what's his name, went up in? That uh, uh, Was it uh, Bezos? Uh, no, that, that, uh, that uh, 
uh, uh, Captain Kirk went up in. God, my mind is just yeah. forget it. What? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, William Shatner went up in. Was called the Shepherd One. Really? Yeah. Uh, and and uh, again, from Alan Shepard. Yeah, for Alan Shepard. And anyway, uh, he only went. He 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 just went suborbital. We didn't really think anything had really happened until somebody went orbital. And, of course, the guy we all remember is John Glenn for being the first man in space. Yeah. Okay. Now, somebody, somebody had said White and McDivitt went around the world 163 times. Said it to my mother. And my mother says, well, if you got money, you can travel. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I mean, the fact of the matter is, is that that was a, that was, you know, uh, though this was not that kind of flight. This was a, you know, this took probably less time than almost a roller coaster. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can you imagine know. Shatner threw up? Hmm? You, can you imagine if Shatner threw up? You know, they, they, how many G forces did they have going up in that thing? You know, uh, people throw up on a roller coaster. I'm trying I, to remember I, something like only like three Gs, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, your new phone's 5G, so... <laughs> yeah, so it's faster than William yeah. Shatner. But, yeah. uh, you know, I just feel he's cheapened... Bezos has cheapened the whole nature of the importance of space travel and turned it into a carnival show. Well, if you were a billionaire, uh, a billionaire like Bezos, the ri richest man in the world, uh, you could play with rockets. No, if you were a billionaire like Bezos... Who yeah. did his space thing? Started his space thing before Musk ever did, and now is being just throttled by Musk. Okay, Musk? Uh, he he's beginning to find out that his money, all that he throws at it, still isn't getting him up where he should be. Yeah, well, uh, Musk has a lot of engineering behind what he's doing. Uh, my oldest daughter's uh, listen. Bezos stole from him. He invented the reusable rocket that lands back down. Yeah. Musk. Not Bezos. Bezos right. simply copied it. Yeah, but Bezos is using a phallic symbol. Oh, that thing looks like a dick, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. It should be called Dick One. <laughs> you know, really, it looks like a dick. And, and the Amazon logo looks like a penis. What's with what's with Bezos? There's something he's got, some kind of problem he's got going there. Well, the interior mm -hmm. uh, larger than I imagined it mm -hmm. would look mm -hmm. when they showed it on uh, on the video. Mm -hmm. But as it came down and landed, Bezos actually went up to it. He had a key on a lanyard, and he unlocked the door. <laughs> you know? Can you imagine? You need a key. To get out of that thing? Well, no, it's a la it's a latch thing, you know. But I I I, I just I, I I just I'm I'm I wish Bezos would just get out of the business. He's wasting space. He he's taking up space, to, literally. He's paying. Uh, huh? Plus, you know, he's got to get ready for those deliveries. You know? Oh yeah, and yeah. Phones, they'll use uh, the space capsule. Yeah, I mean, uh, he can send a rocket. Uh, up into about uh, up to what was it? how many how many miles was it? It was something, like, huh? Sixty, sixty-six miles, something like that. It, it, Three hundred something kilometers. I, yeah, I, yeah. Uh, uh, he can he can get a rocket up there, but he can't get my package to building number three instead of building number one. Yeah. yeah. So. Well, I you're in uh, L. Hmm. Yeah. You know what I forgot? Oh, God, I don't have my liquid. I don't have liquid here. Hmm. Well, I'll do it when the other people are here. Yeah, would you pass it over to me, please? Tell people something. Let me just run out and get it, okay? Just talk to the people. Just do a monologue here, okay? You guys need to enjoy Alex. Uh, in the next uh, uh, iteration, you know, he's he's cutting back on Tuesdays, and I know there's a lot of people out there that really love Alex and his show, and it's we need to support him, and we need to call in, 
and uh, we need to add to the conversation. What Alex has done for uh, all, his, all of his listeners, especially all through COVID, has been very, very supportive. And it's time that we support him too. And uh, I hope that the, uh, the, that the people that listen will call in. Hey, look, look what you got there. I, I made a, uh, I made a plea. I made a plea for more listeners to call in to your show that you have been extremely supportive of everyone during the times where they were stuck in their house. You gave them an outlet uh, so that they didn't feel alone. And yeah. now, you know, it's time to step up to the plate and start calling. I'd like to see 15, 20 callers every night. Also, my cushions. No wonder. Yeah. No wonder I didn't feel I was high enough. Here we well, go. you spoke. No, no. What I'm going to do, I'll tell you what I'm doing. Um, uh, uh, I'm do, I d- only did three days this week. Now, as yeah. to whether I go back to four or not is dependent on how many people we get calling us tonight. Yes. Yeah. Hey, you, you know why you, you stop Tuesdays? Why? We're trying to silence the conservatives. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, everybody, people wrote me and said, what happens with, excuse me, folks, I'm just trying to get comfy. What happens with Phil? And I said, he'll be on Wednesday. You know, yeah. no big deal. Yeah. Yeah, and... Um, who, what other guys do you have lined up? Uh, is is Pearl just been busy? Well, I was and... supposed to do Kravitz today, and I wrote him, and usually he calls just, you know, he remembers all the time. Today, he didn't call, and I couldn't get a hold of him on the phone, and I couldn't get a hold of him by text. Uh-huh. Uh, so I don't know where Kravitz is. I'm a little worried about him, you know. Uh, well, I know you mentioned that, or he mentioned that he was having some issues with his teeth. Yeah, but then he would just write me and say, "Hey, listen, my my teeth yeah. aren't feeling so well. Can we, you know, forget about this week or whatever?" He'd be good about that. He's very good about it. So I don't well, know. You know, uh, it'd be nice if. Uh, you know, what about Ruben? Is he just busy or? Ruben, I think, is living in Canada now. Yeah, they have phones there. I think. I might write them and see, you know. So they let them in, huh? Yeah. But anyway, so it really bothered me. And then uh, I hadn't heard from uh, um, um, Jeff. Yeah. And finally I heard from Jeff. Finally. Uh, But, you know, especially with a guy like Jeff, he's older. I worry about him when I don't hear from him. Yeah. Uh, I I worry when I don't hear from... uh, you know, from uh, um, what's his name from uh, from Kravitz because he he had had a drug problem for years. I'm not saying that he went back to his drug problem, but certainly uh, the drug problem could cause a lot of physical problems. You yeah. know, and it, and it has over the years. So I worry about him when I don't hear from him, especially especially when they're reliable, like Jeff is and like uh, Steve is, and so on. Like if, if all of a sudden I suddenly didn't hear from you, I would worry about you. Oh, well, you know, it, because it's you, you refuse to stop being a pest. Oh, of course. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I've had um, uh, two friends, one of them, mm-hmm. uh, he, a medical doctor. He was in his uh, late 70s, uh, had a heart attack last week, dead. Uh, I have uh, another friend mm-hmm. uh, that I was just talking to a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Uh, ended up having two collapsed arteries and needed stents, and uh, so he was he was in the hospital for four days. He can't be killed, you know. He, he's uh, he's too pickled. But uh, you know, just all of a sudden like that. Yeah, my business manager had an old friend of ours die this week. He was more of a friend of Gary's than of mine, but he used to work my shows and he was a musician and so on and great guy great guy john Furman. he died i mean all these people are dying and i'm going all i am is lightheaded why should i be complaining yeah and then i'm going through all this stuff with the lawyers and with the the, the court case and uh, do you have a place do you have a do you have an extra room i could use uh, if this house goes through that I'm uh, looking at, mm-hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, you can maybe count on me moving out there and moving in. Because this uh, thing is just, it just, it just keeps, it's like, I, 
thought of it today. It's it's a money pit. What, the, the, your place? Yeah, I mean, like, we've spent $100,000 on lawyers up until now, oh, over a period of eight years, nine years. That's not bad. Well, you say, you say it's not bad. It's still $100,000 to two people who don't have $100,000, okay? 4000 a month in rent before this thing turned sour, right? Yes, and maybe we wouldn't be here anymore. All right, you know, well. You know, well, but, but the point is, the point is, that we put in $100,000 to lawyers. So at this point, I looked at Marjorie and I just said, I am so sick of this thing. I would just like to have it, just forget it. I said, but we, but we, but we can't. We, no, the lawyers are gonna say, okay, forget it. Okay, here's your 100,000 back. No, you know? not. no, no, no. So we're out 100,000. So it's like a money pit and we have to figure out how much longer we're gonna keep pouring money into this thing to get no resolution. So, you know, we have that problem too. So, well, you know, the landlords, they're not getting anything, and I'm sure they're spending something on attorneys, maybe not 100, but uh, well, uh I'm sure they're spending quite a bit on attorneys, and I'm sure they probably have it, you know. And um um uh, they're really I uh, uh, you know, I don't want to get into it, but they they they're not happy with they're happy with they don't care about us. We're okay. They consider us okay. It's the the guy who is involved yeah. who's doing all the suing that they they finally just don't want to give into because they're sick and tired of him being the guy who always has let this thing prolong and prolong and prolong and prolong. Huh? It's a what did you say? What did you say? Missing match between the uh, the landlords and yeah. and the uh, the guy who subletted your. Well, also, stuff. I was told that this guy hasn't been paying his lawyer any money. Well, uh, what does he think he's going to get a contingency? Probably or? he's doing it on contingency, in which case he can go forever. We can't, you know? I mean, it's just, it's horrible. And yeah. uh, I just, you know, I that, that's got me too, you know, very depressed. What, what you... Anyway, hey, listen, some people on the line, can you stick around and let me let just let them join in? I, I can't stick around long because I've got my gym at 5.30 in the morning. i got to be up at 4 uh, in order to get ready. Well, stick around for a little bit, will you? And let's see if we get any any people uh, actually uh, calling the program this morning. By the way, before you do that, do I, look do I look thinner? Do I look thinner? CrossFit? Uh, ask me the question. My, I used to ask my... Uh, um, my my uh, uh, business manager, this do I look fat to you? No, and his answer to me was, "No, you don't look fat to me, but you do to everybody else." <laughs> Very nice. And if somebody were yeah. to ask me right now how Phil looks thin, I'd say fat. <laughs> yeah, he's got one of them round faces, so yeah. But I'm not one to talk. Do I look fat? <clears throat> No, you don't. No, I, I, don't. I have two comments. One, I have a spare bedroom. You're welcome to stay here yeah. while Phil's exactly. house or the next house or the next house, whatever one he gets, gets built. Yeah. And and I and since Phil's still here, I want to clarify something that Phil brought up in the last show that we all disagree with. Wait a minute. With. Let me get rid of uh, Phil's name here. That, that's, that's not good. Let's get rid of his name. There we go. Okay. Anyway, what? What were you saying? So... Phil brought up last week, uh, made it made it made a statement, and we all disagreed. And I just want to clarify that he's wrong. He said that he heard out of some magazine, Forbes or something, mm -hmm. that the CDC said there were more COVID deaths in 2021 than in 2022. He shook and said yes. So I went on the CDC's website and looked. And I even sent it to him. And in 2020, there were 385 deaths, approximately, from COVID. In 2021, wait, wait, there's wait, 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 hold on a second. We're in 2021 now. Right, right. Last Except year for, was the big year for COVID, and you said, that's right, Alan, you're not listening. I said in 2021 we have surpassed the deaths that happened in 2020. No. And the article said. No, no, you're wrong. 
Yes. And we all okay, said you were wait wrong. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. You, it, Phil, you're going to be proven wrong here. Go ahead, Alan. Yeah. So, so <laughs> in 2020, there were nine months of, uh, you know, it, it kind of started in March of 2020. 385,000 plus or minus a few hundred people died, according to the CDC. In 2021, we have three more months to go. The end of September, 327,000 have died from COVID. So, a couple, look, I don't, I don't know where the CDC stuff that you're getting. I got it from Forbes. I wish and, I had a gun here so I could shoot myself. Oh, go ahead. So, so the point is that the point is less people died under Trump than Biden. Is that the point? He's trying yes. to say. No. But Trump went to January 20th, and by that time, we had well over 400,000. We had almost 500,000 deaths. We're not talking about Trump's term. We're talking about uh, the uh, 2020, and that in the first 10 months of 2021, we have surpassed the... No, we haven't, Phil. No, I even I, sent I you the email, Phil. Day. We wait, have not. Wait a minute. Do, do, do we go, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. Charlie is the expert here. He's been following this religiously. He's, yeah. It, it isn't hard to find. You yeah. go in the search engine. I sent it to you, Phil. But go in the search engine. Type type CDC uh, twenty twenty versus twenty twenty one COVID deaths pops right up, and that's where I'm getting my numbers. 385,000 last year. There were only nine months that COVID was going on. By the way, let me say hello to Terry, by the way. So. All right. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. So there's, so and then 327,000, which is less, a lot less, about 50,000 or something, 60,000 less this year, and there's only been nine months of this year. Hmm. So, yeah, this year is definitely less. Phil is wrong. Terry, uh, uh, Terry's just joined us. Where are you calling from, Terry? Wait a minute. I can't hear you. Your mic is, your, your mic is muted. Your mic muted. is muted, I think. Is it? Oh, is yeah, it? your mic is muted. Uh, Hold on, I'm let, me, it let me see here. I think I can say ask to unmute. And um, do you see it there? Huh? Help her, Jeff. I see my mic. Oh, oh, Jeff or me? No, you're 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 you you uh, you got your lower left hand corner. Go to that. Oh, okay. Go, go to your left hand corner. He says. Um, yeah. You see over on the left hand corner. Hmm. 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 Right hand. Let me see here. Uh, it's my left hand. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's my right hand. See where oh, it says mute. Yeah. See where it says mute? You want to click on that. Huh? Boy, we're not getting her. Oh. Huh. But it but it says you're muted. So let uh, me ask to unmute again. Alt Alt A will unmute her on the keyboard. Try Alt A on your keyboard. If you have Windows. Let me see here. And you're still muted. You're still muted. Hmm. Try pencil or pen. Huh? Try a pencil or pen. Oh, uh, just float your cursor over the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. No, your no, cursor. But she may be having a pro some other problem there. I don't know. But uh, uh, do you see where it says? Uh, just nod at me, Terry. Do you see where it says mute? See where it says mute? Okay. See that little arrow there? That little carrot there? That comes down, and it should, maybe it doesn't have the right audio. Uh, try built-in line output. And now she turned her picture off. <laughs> oh, boy. No, jeez. Oh, well. Alan? me. Alan, you're, you're muted now. You're muted, Alan. I think we all got muted somehow. Really? Okay. Now I'm, so I wanted to go back to, it's nice having Phil muted, <laughs> <laughs> but your, your, your stats were wrong, Phil, and I'll be happy to send it to anybody. Even Charlie who follows this says you're wrong, Phil. 
I just sent you the ones you told me to look up, and it says here, uh, it's a long article, uh, during uh, 2020, uh, January to February 20, uh, 27th, 2021, an estimated 545,600 deaths, 660,200 more persons expected to die in the United States. Uh, this is a boring article. This is right from the CDC's <laughs> website, right? Yeah. No. Yeah, it's cdc.gov. Right. See? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Well, that. Um, that but just they're really... estimating more people in your statement to the end of the year. And by the end of this yeah. year, by the end of this year, we probably will have more. But Not... so far, we don't. Alan, we have three COVID vaccines. We've mm -hmm. had. Uh, Seventy oh, percent. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I think Terry has her mic on now. Are you there, Terry? I am. Hello? Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Had to go to privacy. Yeah. My settings. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Hold on. We'll get to you in a second. Here, we're still having. You bet. You we're bet. still having this. Uh, this what I call. Uh, okay. Contrast. Pissy fit here with the two of them. I know. Terry, then then talk to Alan about death. <laughs> Well, you know, I feel you're the only one that can come up with the, the wrong numbers. Charlie and myself, I mean, I looked it up on the CDC, and I actually have a bookmark, so I went back to it tonight to see if it's been updated. Okay, so let me just get this straight, okay, so we can just put this thing to rest, okay? okay. Alan, how yeah. many people did it say died last year of COVID? Forget about the nine months that were the prime part of it. 385,000. 385,000. Yep. Okay, and yes, what are we, what are we? Thousand total deaths now, and, and we have what total deaths now? Seven hundred and nineteen thousand three hundred and six so total you, deaths. So three hundred and eighty-five minus that minus yeah. uh, uh, th th comes to what for this year? It comes to less than three hundred and eighty-five thousand. So there couldn't be more this year than last year. Okay, and so and, and so what the CDC says for this year is three twenty-seven. And if we go by the 719 minus 385, it comes out real close. It comes out to 334. We're still way under for this year. I have, I have seen this from a number of sources. Yeah, watch, uh, what, uh, uh, watch this, Terry. Shit, watch this. Wrong. Watch this. What sources, Phil? It wasn't MSNBC. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was it Fox? Could it? It had possibly yeah. been. It was Fox. Yes, it was Fox, and it was. Uh, uh, it was. Um, what's the other one I like? Uh, Newsmax. OAN. Epic. Yes. OAN. Oh, OAN. Yeah, he likes OAN. Yeah. Get OAN. That's like OAN. Get OAN. I want OAN, but I don't get it on YouTube TV. Oh, did it. Oh God! Uh, <laughs> God! I, I, I mean, Terry, Terry would like to say Terry is invoking our Lord. Okay. <laughs> I'm an atheist. I, I know. So, <laughs> so you know you're a deep. Shit. So so am I as well. Oh, but, you know. Yeah. Why is yeah. it that even if you're an atheist, you go, "Oh my God," you know? I, I don't understand that. But anyway, uh, explain <laughs> what your frustration is right now, having listened. To Phil. Well, I didn't really join tonight to um, be frustrated with Phil, although I have been very frustrated with <laughs> Phil because I've been watching you guys for about a year or so. Yeah. And yeah. I joined last winter just in deep, dark, oh, just the worst of shit. Yeah. So um, I wanted to come join and what have you because I appreciated your show. Oh, well, thank you. I really, really appreciated it. It got me through some pretty crappy times. Yeah. And what have you. So were the crappy you, were the crappy times the COVID times or were the other COVID, things? COVID and I live in Wyoming. Oh. Too many anti vaxxers. Oh, um, know a number of people that have died and what have you. And uh, I don't you know, it, it it was it's just been real sad. So anyway, I don't want you to stop your show. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> You're it, you're part of the show. That's that's the whole show. Well, I know, I, but I usually just listen to you. Well, guys it's really no. Stuff. It's really nice to have a new caller and 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 somebody who appears to be as opposed to Phil and, Bright. 
Uh, right. And, you know. I made a... Well, hold on. I, I'm going to say one more thing because you were all griping about pickleball. I'm a pickleball player, honey. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. And wait, I hold can on a second. Some air. Wait, a minute, wait a minute. What's pickleball? Yeah, really. Oh, um, it's a it's a fun game. It is a fun game. It's great exercise. Wonderful people. It's not an old fogey, but I've had old people kick my ass, and I've had young people no, kick but my wait a minute. ass. You got to and I've got to kick a lot of ass. You got to explain <laughs> pickleball to me. I've heard the term, but I've never. I don't know what it is. Is it a game? It's a game uh, with a net and um, you know paddles and what have oh, you, and a wiffle see. ball, and it's and strategy and what have you. It's just lots of fun. But I I heard you guys going, oh, that's an old person game. I'm going, well, I, I didn't yeah, say that, but did you could still kick. Wasn't it in yeah, the Olympics? Someone did on Monday. I, anyway, I just I, wanted to let you know I, that I'm a. I, I think we played it in the Olympics. Didn't they have it in the Olympics? I don't know if they, I know they're trying to do it in the Olympics. I don't know if they did this past um, summer. I thought, I thought they did. Huh. I, di I didn't see oh, it. I could be wrong. Yeah. yeah. You know, they, they were playing some kind of game with rackets that I'd never seen before, and I wasn't tennis. Oh, really? It, it's, you can look at YouTube or go to their association. Yeah. I got to show you a picture of Guy, if I can find him real quick. I might not. Anyway. We have a little lot outside of Jackson Hole where we put our camp trailer. And this guy, you can see him, that guy right there. Yeah. He kept trying to hit me in the boob. <laughs> he did a couple of times, and I whacked him in the dick. Oh, wow. oh really? Really? Is that yeah, he's and, and, and therefore, that's where we get the name Pickleball. <laughs> well, it's, it's a long history and stuff like that. But if you put anyway, orange hair on it, it's game. Donald Trump ball. And, <laughs> and is that like a yearly magazine or a monthly? Oh, I think it's like every two months or so. I belong to the association, and they have tournaments. I've done a couple of tournaments and what have you. It, it's just fun. It's just fun. The and that's the other thing that got me through uh, COVID last year. John Larkin, have you ever heard of pickleball? I've, I think, I mean, I've heard of it. I've never played it, but I've heard of it. Oh, it's fun. Oh, it it's looks fun. fun. We're all going to Google it now. They, they oh, play yeah. in Golden Gate Park. They have pickleball courts in Golden Gate Park now. Phil has yeah. his hand up. On Saturday, I had a customer come into the store and buy carpet. And she was at uh, the wait a minute. Now, let, let's say, let's let's no, 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 no. this is this no, is no wait a minute. Let me just say something here. You said somebody came into your store to buy carpet. I know, imagine and, that. And the name of your store is what carpet one. Okay, so I don't think people were going in there to buy oh, pickle balls. <laughs> well, right. no, but you mentioned or they mentioned the Olympics. And the lady that came in finished fifth in the 1952 Olympics, and, and um, uh, she uh, she didn't medal. I, I think fifth doesn't medal, but she uh, she finished. She was 15 years old, and uh, finished fifth in the backstroke. And I had never met an Olympiad before, and it was uh, pretty interesting. Well, to begin with, this was 1952. Did you say? And she came in fifth. Yes. Then and that isn't even worth talking about. Really? <laughs> but she was 15 years old, and she slipped and hit her head in the. Uh, I, I googled it. She she hit her head in the uh, in, in the in the dressing area, whatever they do. Really? And, uh, oh. She was. She came into your store to buy Gatorade. Yeah. No. <laughs> and I, I was very impressed. I, I you know to to have an Olympiad uh, come in, and then I I read about her. And it seems that her son was also in the Olympics for sailing. Uh, you know, so. he came in 29th. Yeah. <laughs> well, Terry, is I, I frustrate most women that I come in contact with. <laughs> so well, let me, if Terry, let me, most people. Let me ask everybody a really important question now. I had got this a lot the other day after I did my show on Monday. Everybody yeah. says I look younger now. Yeah, you do. You, your right. eyes are more open. Yeah. yeah. Your yeah. eyes are more open. You don't look I so agree. droopy. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah, sure. yeah, I mean, it was a success. I mean, you don't see, yeah, whatever he did, it healed well, Alex, too. It looks like well, a Well, I mean, it was going to heal. Yeah. It, it, it looked more like Vincent good. Price. Instead of getting the bags removed, maybe get some hair transplant. Oh, shut up. <laughs> he also got a guy. Remember that rug on his head is like no, five thing is, The thing is that I thought about getting the bags done, but they don't look as bad now. They don't. That it was the it was this that was causing me to look really tired, and now I look wide awake. You know. So anyway, did you take picks out? What? The toothpicks. The, the toothpicks out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> You don't look a day over 79. Oh, by the way, by the way, Marjorie, my wife, in case you people want to keep up with stuff, she's the latest wife. Uh, she, uh, she was getting out of a car the other day in New Jersey with a girlfriend. Her girlfriend slammed the door on her finger. Ooh. Oh, wow, wow. So wow. now she comes back home and she says, we got to go. We got to go to the, uh, the uh, walking clinic. They have these, you know, these, what do you call it? Uh, City MD, like my sister. Yeah, yeah MD. Urgent yeah, care. City MD. We got to go over to City MD. Urgent, urgent care. It's yeah. one of these walk-in urgent care things. Right. And she walks in, uh -oh. and she says, "I think I broke my hey, finger." Go. Yeah, it was the middle finger. <laughs> I think I broke my finger, and she says it'll be it's five stuck. hours. <laughs> wow. And I don't know if it was. She said it's going to be five hours because my wife went my finger. <laughs> Fingers working good. Yeah. <laughs> five hours. Hey, what happened? Terry, did we, did we, did we, we, Terry, are you still there, Terry? Oh, no. Oh, no. She got frozen. Still not ready, but... Oh, she got frozen. Low internet up there in Wyoming. Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad she called because I, uh, while you told me to talk to the audience, I made an appointment yeah. to step up to the plate and uh, start calling. You know, those that hadn't called before need to start calling. Yeah. And, Listen to him, yeah. Well, I hope she tries it's again. It's probably the first time somebody on this show took your advice, Phil. Yeah, really? Imagine, Phil, imagine Shrek calls in. What? Oh, God. Robert calls in. No, 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 no. Don't even say that. I went shooting Saturday. Uh-oh. Who, who gets on to uh, calls? Oh, here, here she is. She's back again. Are you there, Terry? Yeah, there she goes. That was nice. Ah, she called back. God. Okay. She called Unmute. back. Unmute. Uh, and now you, ha now you have to unmute there, t uh, Terry. Okay, it should be unmuted There now. you go. Oh, you're fine. Yep. You got it down. You know, how now oh, that you've yeah. learned how to do this, you can't stop doing this. Plus, well, what else is there to do in Wyoming for crying out loud? Yellowstone well, rain. The wind blew. We got six inches of snow. Really? Oh, you got snow already? Older oh. and snot. Oh. Wow. Wow. So, Wow, is it nice there? You you must like it there. It's pretty up there. Well, I like um, our lot, um, Summer Place, up outside of Jackson. Mm -hmm. It's a little RV park and and what have you, little tiny lot, and we just we live up there and it's tons of fun and what have you. Where I live, not so much. Not so it's where pretty, you live. You're, where where are you in Wyoming? I'm in Rock Springs. Okay, the only, the only traffic ticket I've ever gotten outside of California, <laughs> really? was in Wyoming. Wow. You, how fast yeah. is it? Was it just wide open? There or? is an area across Wyoming that is kind of everybody should get warned about it, which is a speed trap. The cops just sit there waiting. Well, I mean. The, the speed limit is like 75 on those freeways out there. Right, right? in that area. Oh, it goes it's 80. 80. 80. Yeah. yeah, but in that area, it drops. The city area dropped it so yeah, that they, can, get, so they can give tickets. It's the only way they make money. The cop even told me that. There's an area of Georgia before they put the 95 all the way through. When yeah. you went through uh, from New York to Miami, mm -hmm. you'd be on 301 in Georgia. Yeah. And at Ludawiki, the speed limit changed from like 75 to 25. <laughs> <laughs> Did they forewarn you? No, I had New York plates. The only thing... Oh, they gotcha. <laughs> I was going as fast as the car could go. And uh, it took 24 hours to drive from New York to Miami. And I got passed by a Firebird and a Corvette. 
the cop pulls over the Firebird and the Corvette, and I just kept going. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, yeah, Ludowicki, Georgia, it's, just, it's known as a Well, street. there are towns. You know, I, I assumed that if I was traveling across the United States, at some point I would get a ticket. You know, come on, I'm driving 3,000 miles. No Got to get a ticket. And there's a bumper sticker on the back that says, Alex Bennett's driving, and somebody's going to go, I hate that guy. <laughs> Turn on the light and stop him. Well, anyway, I got a ticket in, I can't remember where it was in Wyoming, but I think it was Buttfuck, Wyoming. I don't know where it is. <laughs> is Wyoming where uh, Yellowstone? The case. The Gabby, isn't that the case up there? Yellowstone, yeah. Yellowstone. Yeah, Yellowstone's there. Yeah. You know, according to that program, that's it's a beautiful place. Yeah. yeah, it is. Uh, I would imagine I, when I drive, but I didn't find it beautiful because I got a ticket there. You know, and then I mean, I, yeah, I eighty isn't that pretty, but um, I think that's what I was had, taking. Yeah, it was I eighty. Yeah, yeah, we had so much smoke. I can't even. It was terrible this year. I oh. went up there for the uh, eclipse. I think it was two thousand seventeen to Casper. Yeah. Fucking amazing. Oh, did, were you there? Yeah, I went there. We were up uh, north of Pinedale on a place called Bull Run. It's yeah. 11,000 feet. Oh, man. Rockier than hell to get up. How these people got up in some of their cars, because we have a side-by-side, -side, a little four-wheel, you know, off-road yeah. thing. And we were out there with 60 people from all over the United States, the world, yeah. drinking champagne. The eclipse came. It was dark. It was and amazing. We were all crying and drinking and champagne. Was, yeah, it was fucking amazing. And then somebody really figured was. out nobody brought any toilet paper. <laughs> Alex, yeah. I oh, we always have toilet paper. <laughs> all top tickets. What? I, was, I drove in 1972. I drove from New York also to Miami, mm -hmm. and I was on the uh, New Jersey State Turnpike. Mm -hmm. I got pulled over doing 85 and a 75 or something like that and uh this is 1972 before computers and so uh the cop gives me a ticket and uh i said what happens if i don't pay this ticket he says you better not come back to new jersey so i never did <laughs> you never did really <laughs> you probably got a warrant out for your arrest there yep. <laughs> here's the cool thing phil while you were a cop maybe the guy would be driving through richmond you could stop him boom here, here, him here, here okay here's the it's ticket I, here's the ticket i got what's what's the furthest away you ever got a ticket uh the furthest away uh, i don't know i always got out of tickets except this guy hmm. yeah i usually get out of them too i was in italy oh Got me beat. And uh, I'm trying to remember the town that we were in, the place where, uh, you know, where all the wonderful. Uh, where, oh, when you yeah. get a ticket in Italy, they have you pay it right then and there. No. Well, it's parking tickets they I do. I didn't get the ticket till I got home. Oh, wow. They really? They, they mailed it to you? They, they mailed wow. me the ticket. Yeah. And uh, it, it, they said, uh, you, you don't have to pay it, but if you don't pay it, you can't ever come back to Italy. <laughs> So I paid really? it. It was like 150 bucks or something like that, and it was it was what was the town I was in? It it uh, the really uh, you know where Palermo? No, no, no. The oh. real arty city. Uh, uh, Venice. No. Uh, Rome. No. Keep. Uh, where, where, where were all the great art came from? The uh, the Medi Medici's came from there. The Medici's were from there. Huh? Not outside of Florence. 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 So I, I'm driving my car through Florence, and I don't know. I can't. Can you read Italian? I can't read Italian. <laughs> and I can't read a sign that says, do not go down this street between noon and three in the afternoon. Oh, oh God. Oh, wow. from America. To begin with, I've never seen a sign like that in America, okay? Let alone in Italy. You got to go to Texas. So I yeah. didn't know that I was going the wrong way. Or what? It, they took a picture of me. They have cameras oh, everywhere. They okay. took a picture, got the license plate. It was a rental car. They got a hold of the rental company. That's what they did. And the rental company, what is that? That is the Wyoming range. The last day we went up into the mountains. Oh, wow. And that That's is fall nice. color. Those are aspens. Oh, wow. 
Uh, and there's quite a bit of smoke. There was so much smoke up there this yeah. year. I mean, it was just absolutely horrible. But, Sorry, but, I didn't. But any, but anyway, they got they got a, they, they got smoking. a hold of the they got a hold of the uh, what do you call it the uh, car company car rental company car rental company got a hold of me said mm -hmm. you owe us this money I had to give them the money and you know but it was it was it was uh, it was the furthest away I ever got a ticket but at least. It was worth my money because now I can sit here and tell you that story. What have you gotten back of you there, Phil? That's the uh, the, the desert uh, Death Valley. I was out there a couple like of no years Jesus. ago. What yeah, are you doing? I, are you trying to compete deserts with with <laughs> Terry here? I have trees in fall color. See, yeah, really. see, it's pretty. It's yeah. okay, Terry. He's a Republican, you know. I know, I know. I'm surrounded by people like you, Phil. Yeah, it's very, I, I, I'm very depressing, you, isn't Alex, it? Alex, hmm? you, you've been a godsend, <laughs> not religious, but I have to deal with Phil's and yeah. a lot of them. Yeah. Phil, but you're a nice guy. Well, there's, a lot there's, of them that there's, I deal there, with here. There's Tony's. There's Tony's ignorant. background there. Oh yeah, that's Queens. <laughs> I supplied that to everybody. We we you don't see that. We see you can't see it as well now because he doesn't have it as as much as many lights on as he did when that was taken. Oh. Well, the actual one is on Tony's. Uh, to yeah. Terry, if you look at Tony's wallpaper, and Phil's got a, a a bright picture of it, but the actual one is Tony's behind. Now, I assume yeah. from what you were saying, you're married, right, Terry? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh oh yeah. Oh, yeah. am I ever? Okay, how long have you been married? <laughs> how am I ever? Oh, God. Let's see. I got married one week before I moved up to Montana for a job. Wow. Really? And so that would be how long ago? Oh, that was about 11 <laughs> years ago. 11 years ago. Wow. Yeah. We got married. I took a job up in Montana, and my now husband started a business, and so we got married so I could put him on my health insurance, and I was gone the next week. <laughs> oh, I see. For three yeah. years. Wow. wow. Well, oh, Ma I love Montana. <laughs> Marjorie and I, got, it must have been uh, 1,000, it must have been 2010, right? Yep. And that's when Marjorie and I, I think, got married. I can't it was remember. On yeah. Spring. Yeah. yeah the Equinox. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, the Equinox. Yeah. Oh, Your yeah. shotgun wedding? <laughs> no, I'm a little old for that. <laughs> so. yeah, Alex, if his marriage was a shotgun wedding. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she was pregnant, sure. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, no. But uh, so anyway, so and it seems like you and your husband love going and doing stuff outdoors. I mean, yeah. you're talking about it sounds like you have a camper and you go to this campground and and yeah, and you've and, got and then you oh, pay, pay, play pickle lakes, ball. rivers, national parks. I mean, it's yeah, I mean. You know, if you like being outside and what have you, which I do, uh, it's a good place to be. Yeah, well, I, I don't like being outside because I take great pride in my pallor. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I got to go get sun damage removed. Oh, oh really? Well, you, <laughs> you, you like to get a sunburn, right? Well, no, I just, I grew up on the beaches of Southern California and, uh, you know, at a time when uh, tanning was the thing. Yeah. Well, I, I uh, you know, a couple of years, I like I went to Spain, got really dark and things like that. But in mm -hmm. recent years, I haven't done much, uh, much sitting in the sun. I do a lot of walking, but I, for some reason, I don't get really much color in my face. Yeah. So, unless, of course, I have a surgeon operate on my eyes, and then I get lots of color up in here. <laughs> And the it's whole purple, well, huh? <laughs> the reason I didn't do a show for a couple of weeks is because I looked very much like a raccoon. You know, uh, you saw it, right, Phil? You saw it right, almost right after I did it. Yeah, we we talked on FaceTime, and uh, describe it. It looked like raw meat, didn't it? Well, it was one eye was really uh, had had the black and blue under it. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Remnants of it right now. It was it was it was quite pronounced, but uh, you know I, that's to be expected. Uh, right. You know, I I think you're you're healing quickly, and uh, it, it looks good. 
And I'm very surprised that the bags have actually gone down. They haven't gone down. I think that they were accentuated by the eyes being kind of closed. By the way, Jeff hasn't said anything tonight, and I was worried about Jeff because we. You know, heard. I'm so happy because I got to tell you, I came to New York a couple of times. Yes. And I talked to a, a lady that I talked to. Hey, she's my concierge. Holy. Yeah. Yeah, from from your wife to my wife. Yeah. And I go, he's not in a good shape to even come over. Yeah, Don't no, it, it was by. not. When you called, it was, I think, a day after or something I had had Could the, the yeah. work done. And uh, I wasn't going out because I didn't want to, I didn't want to scare small children. And then <laughs> what I did, I was wearing dark glasses, okay? I was wearing dark glasses. And I would go out with the dark glasses on, and I figured that's fine. You know, that's cool, yeah. right? And the thing was that the black and blue was down here. So that the the the, uh, the dark glasses didn't work at all to really hide the worst of mm -hmm. it. So, so yeah, I just yeah. didn't. I didn't do a show. I didn't go out. I didn't want to be seen. Uh, and then I think it was last Thursday I went back on, and I got so used to not going on that the idea of going on four days this week was too much for me. So, for the next couple of weeks, I might just might do this uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and eventually maybe we'll go back to more. Like I said earlier, he's trying to silence the conservatives on Tuesday. Well, no, the, you'll then be on Wednesday. Okay. So, it's yeah. singular, not plural in this group, Phil. What's that? Well, we ha uh, the reason we've been traveling for uh, almost a, a week and a half mm -hmm. is because Pam's sister from Georgia is at our place. Oh, okay. And she's in charge of taking care of uh, their mom. So uh, we get the break to stay away from grandma. Where, where are you? <laughs> what? Go ahead. Jeff, where, where are you? That's not your uh, uh, normal place. No, right now I'm in Vermont. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to do a little, maybe maybe a bike ride today are the leaves still changing in vermont or is it over no and that's no it's not changed yet it's the colors are changing it's pretty it's pretty beautiful but i was supposed to go to new hampshire on october 5th and i couldn't go because i didn't have anybody in the store to, to <clears throat> so i had to cancel the trip i really was looking forward to that because i yeah. wanted this well if you get a, a chance it's it's still premature I haven't seen it since I was a kid. Uh, oh. oh, really? Wow. I'll send you a picture. Well, we, go, we go up to Vermont. We didn't go last year because of COVID, but, uh, or this year, because all the people that were they didn't get to see from COVID were coming to see them this year. We'll probably go back next year, but we go up to Vermont. Uh, we go, go up to Shelburne. And uh, it, it's, I, love, I love it up there. I mean, if, if I could... If I had the ability to move, and at my age, it's just hard. It feels harder to move. Do you, you know, since you get older, you just yep. kind of become set in your ways. You know, we're talking, we're having this problem with the apartment, and you know, what, what's going to happen with it. And if I had to move out of here, I don't know if I could. I just probably just leave everything here and go. You know, because I just don't That's have good, the because the room I got for you is fully furnished. Well, I, don't, I don't have the chance. <laughs> I don't have the 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 strength really to do a major move i mean so i think as you get older you get more set in your ways absolutely why don't you sublet the apartment <laughs> <laughs> i should, do, that, I should do that as a joke before i leave yeah <laughs> and we and we and we want a year's rent in advance mm -hmm. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you can do it oh boy oh boy so what else is happening in the news? Is there anything in the news? Because I, I just haven't been watching it. Marjorie watches MSNBC, and I said, how can you let your brain rot from that? Oh, and I come on. I tuned it in today. Are you ready for this? They did a whole hour after Shatner got back from space to talk okay. about his 11-minute ride. Yeah. Mm. 
And I'm just jealous jealous that it wasn't you. (laughs) Oh, I would have loved, but not on that. That would not, I would not be thrilled with that, Ryan. No? No, no. But, I mean, I... The view must have been incredible. If if Elon Musk wanted me to go, I'd go in a second. I mean, he took those people up for three days, okay? I'm I'm trying to figure out, what did did they eat? I bet you they had peanut butter. Here's some peanut butter. Do you think... uh, I think you can eat that up there, right? Don't you think... Yeah, of course you can. But it still has to... Old foods. They have to like By the, squeezy bags. Yeah, well, I'll tell you, everything you want to know in life is on YouTube somewhere. And I, <laughs> I looked yeah. up a dis, a thing on how you take a crap in space. How do you? They have a they have a thing that they put their butt in, and it kind of seals. It's kind of sealed around them, and then it goes into a bag, which then closes itself, and then they. I don't know, I guess they store the back bag somewhere in the... I mean, you don't float it out into space. Would you really want to... Throw it out the window. Out the window. And, and peeing is another thing, too. They do it through a tube or something. Huh. Uh, and, 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 yeah, but I mean, that's always... And uh, some astronauts have said they were always asked of all questions that they're asked, like, how was it in space? What, it was, what was it like to be weightless? What was it like to float around? What was the view out the window? The first question they asked is, how do you take a dump? Flight. <laughs> 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 that what happens is when the g-forces change you start flailing your arms because you feel like you're falling and uh so you you'll flail your arms nobody said anything about it after they got back but this was one of the experts supposedly that was uh saying that these are the things that happen when you go into space and uh, involuntary uh, movements because you think you're falling. Well, those people that were up for three, I mean, you, you saw, uh, uh, what's his name, mm. Shatner get out of the, the penis vehicle, I call it, because it looks like a giant penis. <laughs> I mean, it couldn't look any more like a penis than that rocket looks, okay? Um, but um, when Shatner got out of it, he just got out of it. Oh, I love you, Jeff Bezos. And then he walks around and everything. When those guys went for three days on Musk's vehicle, when they got out, they were kind of unsteady. They kind of had to be helped because they were so used to not having to have gravity. You know, now all of a sudden they're having to get used to gravity again. Um, So, Phil, where do you where do you get your news from? He sent me this article and it goes from. Get this, it goes from February 27, 2020 to February 27, 2021. I don't need to read any more of it. How could? How do they know how many people died in 2021? I mean... It's on the CDC website. Uh, yeah, okay, but it's, 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 it's not relevant. It's the one you told me to look up. No, I didn't. Here we go again. I, I, I'm well, sorry I'll, for this, Terry. I'll send it to you again, Phil. I have Don't we just go to John Hopkins? Coach? Yes, that's a great place. To that's go the to. best one to go to. Yeah, absolutely. I got. And for Wyoming, you go to weather.com. I do that in California too. Weather.com. Yeah. Now, how how how, how, like is, how is the uh, the vaccine resistance there? I mean, are they are they still oh big anti vaxxers I mean, there's it's been, a red state. Yeah. Uh, well. Uh, yeah. I mean, but kind of getting scary red. Even a lot um, of the red states, a lot of the anti vaxxers are starting to change their tune, because what they're doing is they're seeing too many of their friends die around them who are also anti vaxxers Oh, uh, a friend of ours' mother passed away. She was an older woman, Mm -hmm. and uh, we chose not to go to the funeral. We sent flowers and stuff, and everyone got COVID. And one guy, real good, yeah, close friend of my husband's client, um, he um, he ended up getting the antibodies, and his oxygen level went down to seventy. His lips wow. turn real blue, and his wife, at least she was a student enough to drag him to the hospital. So you say, well, he never had time to get vaxxed, but yet he had time to what, be out of work. What, it takes a minute Because he's a business owner. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, they had up in uh, at our summer place, they had a lady uh, die, 
and she was going around and parties and dinners and stuff like that. She got, you know, well, she, hope, she I, thought it was I, all bullshit. I yeah. hope, I hope she, she died. I hope she enjoyed herself. Yeah. Mm. Well, I, it was, she had dinner. Well, we had two lots. We sold one, but uh, um, anyway, they, she was there for dinner. Charlie. <laughs> we were not. Charlie, Charlie's got his hand up. Yes, Charlie. Oh, so I, I just want to report that there were 1,183 Texans reported dead from COVID today. Today. Wow. Today. Just today. Greg Abbott is doing such a good job here. Let me tell you. Why aren't these people being charged with mass murder? I mean, because this is literally genocide. I do not understand. These are all Republicans dying. They're the ones not getting vaccinated. Well, in that case, well, I would that say case, that's a good thing. Let me just say this to all the Republicans out there, mm -hmm. anti-vaxxers: keep it up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, keep it yeah, up. Doing it. Yeah. Well, you did, know. You hear, did you hear what Trump said today? He said that uh, if they don't get to the bottom of the uh, the, uh, the the steel, the, he, he's going to recommend that no no Republicans vote in twenty twenty two and. 2024 and everybody said okay good okay, good, good. Fine. do it <laughs> that's really brilliant of him isn't it by the way did you uh, did your state go for trump or did it go for uh for i, I imagine it went for trump right wyoming, wyoming. Trump. oh god yeah i think it, uh biden got like 23 percent uh, cheney state right yeah. Yeah. there's only yeah, but, a couple thousand people that live there though but she's got problems there yeah. you know because yeah. she suddenly decided to be honorable. Yeah. On the COVID front, uh, Charlie, uh, now all of these uh, migrants are coming to the Texas border. Uh, none of them are being vaccinated. They're being released. Are they considered? No, they're not. Texas is not releasing any migrants to, to just roam free with COVID throughout. And it, and it, isn't, it isn't the migrants that are dying in record numbers. These are not it's, migrants. These are white. It, 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 is, it is citizens it's of the United border. States. Yeah. That, you know, there's a lot of migrants on the border. Are they considered Texans? And if they oh, are uh, dying or getting COVID, oh, come on. a lot of them are testing yeah, they're positive. They're dying yeah. in Dallas and Houston and Austin and San Antonio. They're not dying on the border. You mean that Democratic stronghold? <laughs> there are Republicans in Austin. They don't let them die. die. All the Democrats are vaccinated. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And the, he, you know, even though Phil is a Republican, he got vaccinated. So good for him. Hey, I got well, it right. Was, there, really, there, was really, there is some hope. There's some hope. I think I mentioned this the other day. It was really funny. On Jimmy Kimmel's show, he said, you know, Fox has been the number one purveyor of being anti-vaxxer and anti-mask, okay? Mm -hmm. And then they showed a big fest, uh, festivity they were having at the newly opened Fox News offices in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And all the people at the party were wearing masks. Mm -hmm. They're all vaccinated too, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So how, yeah, they, the how, they can go, how they can go on the air and tell people, oh, you know, the anti-vax this, anti-vax that. Uh, and I love these people who are just saying, how dare they? We have the rights not to have to wear a mask, not to get vaccinated. Yeah, well, you have the right to kill yourself and to kill others? No, I don't think so. I don't you know. know that they're anti-vax. I think that they're pro-civil rights. No, but they were, they were, Phil, not don't, a civil don't, right. don't, don't even start that because I'm going to get yeah. out of this chair. I'm going to get on an airplane. I'm That's going to fly point. mass to California. I'm yeah, going to go find point. you. I'm going to punch you in the nose, and then I'm going to leave and come back to New York. <laughs> Take me to the airport. I'm going home. <laughs> well, as well as vaccinated. Yeah, Terry. Yeah. Can I, I want to ask you a question. I mean, all of you were all around the same age and what have you, but when you were a kid, you go to school, didn't they send you into the cafeteria and give you the various shots, vaccines? And what have you, you couldn't right. go to school unless you were yeah. vaccinated. That's yeah, right. it, it wasn't right. optional. I was in the Air Force. They didn't ask you That's right. <laughs> if you wanted to get vaccinated. They lined you up. 
and they squirted you and it I was remember that. Out. I remember that. They had these they had the they actually had these mechanical yes, I mean, ones. This was bullshit. You know, they were they didn't even use a needle. They pushed it through the pores in your arm with this uh, uh, pneumatic like, yes. The, the, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You remember the kids that had those like round vaccine scars? They, they I were, have, yeah. I no, that, have that, that that was that was from that was from, I don't that, know what that was from. That was from that small the smallpox. Small yeah. 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 yeah, I had. I, had uh, I think <laughs> I still have mine somewhere. I don't know. I, I, but, I remember getting that from Doctor Tini. I was crying in the office. Well, the reason kid. is they were different than they were. They were different than a vaccine. Oh, I remember it being like, like a silver thing. Pushed it in my shoulder. Yeah, they like uh, uh, kind of d dabble at you. Right. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Look at was you got two. Yeah, and then it formed a scab, and when the scab fell off, you had the vaccination mark. Right. I always remember getting that. And where, I always where thought it was, it was a target. Oh. Kind of looks like a target. You know, but I mean, the point is, yeah, when you went to school, uh, like, I never, I didn't, they didn't have vaccinations when I went to school. Um, they, they, school? Huh? They didn't even have schools, right? And, and, anyway, uh, 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 I, didn't, I didn't have that problem, okay, because they didn't have vaccines. Yeah. But later on, a few years later, I heard that every parent, their kids, before they be registered for school and go yeah. to school, had to be vaccinated. And In everybody the vaccinated their kids. They never asked my mom. They just marched us all down to the cafeteria. Right. And Absolutely. Right. Same thing. Nobody asked. And they ought to do right. that here now. And I'm going to tell you something, and this is something everybody who's an anti-vaxxer should pay attention to. Every kid in America, every kid in the world that could get it got the polio vaccine. We completely wiped out polio on the face right. of the yep. earth because of yep. the vaccines. Yep. Tuberculosis. Uh, you don't know vaccine different, for different. You didn't get a vaccine for it's also It's also treatable with antibiotics, Phil. No, no, no. But they they stopped uh, tuberculosis for a while. No, but uh, uh, no, but uh, no, it, what, it was. I think with antibiotics, I, it had nothing yeah, to do. Not there was no vaccine. There's no vaccine for tuberculosis. But antibiotics. You know, these it. people are anti-vaxxers are just plain stupid. I mean, people are dying. You know, it, it, I find it I find it cute, funny, that the Republicans have gone on and on about don't get the vaccine, but now a few months ago I think they realized that they're dying in large numbers. The Democrats are continuing to live, mm -hmm. and 2022 elections coming up, and they may not have enough people to vote for them. Yeah. The Democrats are going to find out they'll be the only ones left, so they're going to have to pay all the taxes <laughs> that Biden is in. in, in Bring it on. Bring on. I'm yeah, okay with that. On. Bring it on. You know, I'll, I'll pay extra Jeff taxes to get rid of Republicans. Tax. I'll tell you what the, I'll tell you what the biggest myth is. The national debt is a big myth. And the reason it's a big myth is, yeah, there's a national debt. Okay, I agree with that. You know how we pay for it? We print more money. Right. Absolutely. And printing more money does not bring on a recession or anything else. It simply puts more money out there. The economy is doing good. Yeah. It costs more. Things cost more well, because you got to put... Go ahead. Go ahead, Terry. What? Oh, I, I, well, a couple of things. I mean, this anti-vaccine um, uh, thing. See, I, I had a question like, I don't understand where the origins of all this is coming. I think it's from Coke and his, uh, David Koch, well, he died, but Charles Koch, mm -hmm. these people, don't, they want a libertarian, they want to pollute, they want to you know, kill workers, what have you. They want to pay taxes and whatnot. And they fund these groups that start this shit, just like the Tea Party, um, the anti-vax, anti-mask. Like Donald like Trump. Mm, yeah. I think, I think he uses Donald Trump, no, I want you know, but... Um, no, I, I think it's more fundamental with some of these groups. I, it, from what I've been able to read and what ha you know, the Koch brothers don't didn't support Donald Trump, uh, and but they the, did. the Coke, right. uh, Coke company or uh, you know Coke brothers, not, Co Co not Coca Cola, but not Coca Cola. Two different yeah, things. Coke Bill. Industries. Uh, they they own Invista, which is the people that make nylon fiber, and those sons of bitches are. <laughs> 
cornering the market and they are making my life miserable. Oh. And, and, yeah. Let me, let me I want I want I want to play a little game here though. If you got a second. We're at Terry's expense, oddly enough, because Terry mentioned she was in the military. Now, don't say where. Don't say how, but you were in the military, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, would people like to guess which military she was in, which branch? I know. Uh, I know. All she had to do was listen to her. She told us. But did she? she? I wasn't listening. Yeah. What? I was. I was. I looked at her and I was going to say Air Force. (laughs) Did you do? Hmm? I was one of the first eight women crew chiefs on C 130s. Wow. Uh, thank I you. Thank spent you for your service. 1974 Terry. doing embassy runs around South America, ended up in Santiago, Chile after um, Aliente was uh, assassinated, Allende. what happened. Allende, yeah. Fasc- you know, the fascist. Peugeot yeah. or whatever. Right. How CIA it back the CIA backed government. Yeah, P- yes, P- yes. So I, I, dirty, dirty thing. Um, we had to be back in our hotel rooms by I couldn't I can't remember if it was like seven o'clock or nine o'clock. And if you weren't, they would kill you. They huh. would just literally kill you. Right. And they had tanks and submachine guns on every corner. I cannot. And Phil, this is really for you. I, you know, I don't know if you hate black people, brown people, or don't well, he, think no, he, you, you he know, going to save a lot of taxes and what have you. And taxes aren't so bad. Taxes fund our government. You know, they fund things that help you. You got a nasty fire in California. Phil only hates Jews. Yeah. Well, okay, well, I'm not Jewish anyway. But he, you, I talk to these people, and they just love this Trump guy and I'm just going do you understand the parallel between him and Hitler there is no parallel and, and moving oh yes oh, there well, is we're starting oh, this oh, one yes, there wait, wait, hold on Terry we're He's starting this one we should have started this about two hours ago <laughs> no no but I, I mean you can't talk to these people I mean it's you just you, you can't but I'm really trying to understand why anyone would buy into a guy i don't know if you collect social security i have my i'm a fe, i'm a federal retiree yeah. i paid in 11 percent of my salary into my retirement i want to keep it yeah. i'm medicare i'm healthy right now but i don't know you know what will happen in the future those are programs he's looking to kill yeah. <laughs> he's looking to, and he will do it by defunding yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely I, I have a question. Well, uh, you better hurry up, Phil, because you got 40 seconds. I, uh, okay, sorry. My ignorance, but what does a crew chief do? You um, manage um, an aircraft for different, um, you know, people to fix different systems and what have you. In other words, you're kind of the boss of the of the crew. Yeah, you kind of manage it. Yeah. Right. yeah. Crew chief. And then when I left federal government, I was a project manager on... Uh, renewable energy projects oh well you have and a, they killed every damn one of them uh, yeah you have a future in floor covering sales <laughs> <laughs> i i bought a lot of carpet or flooring from carpet one here oh, very nice very <laughs> anyway hey listen the theme is playing listen terry you've been terrific will you please call us again please yeah, Phil, please I, do. I, you know, because I, I, I heard Phil. I, 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 I've been watching and him. And that's enough to make you. So. Anyway, well. yeah. Don't be afraid yeah, of You guys, me. you really, I you are the best TV there is. I, 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 I love listening well, to you. Well, please, will you be part of it again? You're terrific. Sure. We love having you yeah, here. Yeah, now, yeah. Now, while you're talking, we can't hear Phil, and that's even better. And that's even better. <laughs> hey, listen, the theme is playing. I want I, I want to thank Phil. Uh, for sticking with us, by the way, because he's got an early call tomorrow. I want to thank Alan. I want to thank Charlie. Always good talking to you, John Larkin. Uh, and uh, Jeff, I'm glad to see you're alive. And uh, Tony, you've been quiet tonight, but gee, you've been terrific. And and Terry, I'm saying it again, we want to hear from you more. We really enjoyed okay. you tonight, okay? Bye. And everybody, if you give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Aha. 
Okay, now I gotta get rid of them. Uh, because if I don't get rid of them, see, once I get rid of them, I start getting into sync again. See this? See, I'm now in sync. Anyway, that's it for tonight. See you again tomorrow night. Okay, Jack Bishop is next. He's here with the intersection. Call him as well. And uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time. Same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, get vaccinated if you haven't done so. And if you don't, wear a mask. Do yourself and everybody else a favor. Bye. Bye.